What's up guys? Welcome to The Real Deal Airsoft. My name is Jake, one of your favorite YouTube airsoft technicians. If you're new to the channel and you're watching this video, bruh, hit that subscribe button, it's totally free. Why? Because we're pushing the limits of airsoft tech, learning about the system in general, showing you the snappy boy builds. You heard the third. As well, we're always doing Q and A's and frequent giveaways. You guys probably saw in the thumbnail of the video that we have a very spicy, spicy build. Let me uh, leak it for you real quick. Yeah, boy, that's pretty, right? Little disclaimer, YouTube. Everything shown in this video and on this channel are airsoft toys. They are in no way, shape, or form regulated goods. The real deal, airsoft does not promote or engage the sale of regulated goods. This is airsoft toys. Haha, <laughs> gel blasters. Haha. <laughs> All right. If you are to use an airsoft toy, gel blaster, or paintball marker alike, make sure you use it in a safe, regulated, and approved environment, such as your local field that exists legally. Back to the video. All right, boys, let's take a look at this. It is so beautiful. This build originally started off as a KWA QRF Mod 1. Shout out to the owner of this build who had a beautiful vision and wanted the real deal to complete it. So it came in quite stock with some weird upgrades. Um, there was an inner barrel upgrade and a little motor that was thrown in there, but he wanted the real deal package. So guys, this build is the bread and butter build. Again, YouTube, this is Airsoft. Airsoft toys cannot be converted into firearms. Let's talk about this build and see exactly how it's able to achieve results like this. All right, boys, let's dive right into the build. Right off the bat, this is a KWA platform, meaning that it's sporting the 2.5 gearbox, which is not standard V2 spec. So certain mob sets won't work. The only mob set that I reliably put into these 2.5 gearboxes is the Gate Titan. But before we get into throwing in the mob set, the first thing you want to do with this type of a build is something that I did was I completely gutted the gearbox, ripped everything out. Immediately, you're going to notice in these 2.5 gearboxes is that there's no bevel gear window cutout. And that makes it a pain in the butt when it comes to shimming that beveled opinion and when you want that crispy real deal crack. You know what I mean? So. Nice. The first thing I did was taped up all the bearings, taped up everything on the gearbox and cut out that window. This way, when you shim, you can achieve the perfect tolerance. So that was the first thing that went to this build was cutting out the bevel window. Moving forward, we threw in a Gate Titan mob set, 13 to one SHS gears, a fresh pack of SHS shims. Guys, if you're throwing in a new gear set, it's super, super important to get a fresh pack of shims so you can shim everything perfectly. I mean, the majority of the time from factory, they don't give you precise shims. It's usually some fat shims and it's not done well. So if you're changing out the gears, get a fresh pack of shims. We have a real deal Gen 2 Golden Boy motor. If you're interested in that, check the link in the description below. Moving up to the compression parts, originally when this build came in, it had a dookie half metal, half polymer piston with a silent piston head, some cylinder head, double O-ring cylinder head with a silent cylinder head pad on the back, as well as a pad on the front. I want to talk to you about these parts. Normally the silent, the silent cylinder head is looked at as a good part. I really don't like it because it punches holes in the back of the pad like a cookie cutter. Let me show you what I'm talking about. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> it literally cut this, uh, this part up and you can see, so you see the piston head design? Those marks are reciprocated into the cylinder head and it completely cut it like a cookie cutter. So that's terrible as well. This pad was starting to disintegrate. And the reason why I don't recommend cylinder heads with this front pad is this. Every time your piston's flying forward, it's hitting your cylinder head. This pad allows forward travel, slightly fo slight forward travel. If this was in a retro gearbox shell, it would have ripped the cylinder head post off. You want something that's stationary and has no flex moving forward. This pad will destroy your gearbox shell. That movement just plays an effect in the total destruction of your compression system. As well, the first two teeth on this polymer piston are absolutely chewed out, absolutely chewed out. So what do we change it to? The Real Deal Airsoft Performance Piston Assembly, as well as the Real Deal Airsoft Golden Double O-Ring Cylinder Head. The stock nozzle by KWA because it's absolutely proprietary, because it, they use a proprietary tappet plate spring and nozzle system. It's pretty cool, it's pretty consistent. Um, I honestly don't have too many complaints about it. Super rugged, really fire. The Real Deal Performance Piston Assembly is an absolute dream in KWA gearboxes as it is in many other brands, but for KWA, don't even worry about it. It's an absolute drop-in. Honestly, the Real Deal Performance Piston Assembly is an absolute tank, and if you have an airsoft replica, you kind of need this in it. 
To finish it off to match the beautiful red venom paint job, we have a red max adjustable trigger. An adjustable trigger, especially one by Max Model, is one of the most felt differences in your build, meaning that they provide you a softer trigger spring, and overall, it just gives you that hairline feel and really makes it feel absolutely superb and supreme. Something that the client provided with this build is a really unique front flashlight that acts as a front sight post. I've really never seen this before, but let's take a look at it. Take a look at that base plate, man. That paint job's everywhere. And the last part about this build that isn't stock, I guess you could say, is the battery extension unit. Very important on all these PDW style stocks. Definitely grab yourself an extension unit. All right, guys, so that's pretty much the internal overhaul. I wanna show you guys how this sounds, and also we'll sling some rounds downrange. All right, guys, what's up out here on the range? Uh -huh, safety first, you know what I'm saying? The real frozen airsoft. All right, guys, no idea what way BBs are in here, but let's give it a go. All right, guys, if you enjoyed the video and you felt you learned something, be sure to hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. It really means a lot to the algorithm because they suppress your brother out here. Until next time, see you on the field. The real deal.